Welcome to the Shrimpy YouTube channel, a place where you can learn everything about the disruptive sector of cryptocurrencies and finally start building your blockchain education. In today's video, we'll find out what decentralized exchanges are and why they have become a popular alternative to regular cryptocurrency exchanges. But before we head into today's video, we'd like to remind you that our team has recently launched Shrimpy Academy. Shrimpy Academy is a unique educational platform that helps you learn how cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology works. Our content is fact-checked, objective, and straightforward. Shrimpy explains even the most complex crypto concepts in the simplest way possible and assigns difficulty levels to each piece of content in order to help you navigate through the crypto space. If you want to find out how the platform works, you can read our announcement article via the link in the description, or you can see Shrimpy Academy for yourself by visiting academy.shrimpy.io. For as long as we know, investors have bought and sold cryptocurrencies using centralized exchanges. You find a good platform, register an account, complete the standard KYC process, and start investing in digital assets. That's all there is to it. But a new kind of exchange is in town as of 2020. The rising adoption of DeFi, more and more users are migrating to decentralized exchanges that provide the complete opposite experience. These exchanges enforce neither verifications nor signups. And at any given moment, the crypto you trade is entirely under your control. But how are decentralized exchanges decentralized? And in what kind of way does their method of operation differ from centralized trading platforms? By definition, any transaction that happens in a peer-to-peer -peer fashion can be thought of as being a decentralized trade. If two crypto fans called Bob and Alice trade Ethereum for, let's say, Tether with each other, and the entire transaction takes place on a blockchain, the trade is decentralized. If that were to happen through a third-party system like an exchange or a custodian, the trade would be centralized. So as long as we have peer-to-peer -peer trading that stays at all times on the blockchain and interacts in no way with a centralized platform, the swap in question is decentralized. Decentralized exchanges practice the same process, with the core difference being that they mimic centralized trading platforms. Their goal is to provide a blockchain-powered platform that offers trading services and liquidity to crypto investors, just like Binance or Coinbase do. The way that they achieve that is by relying on the use of smart contracts, a bundle of code that is automatically and autonomously executed once certain conditions are met. This means that DEX operators can automate withdrawals, deposits, and trades without having to personally authorize them or initiate any actions on their part. Smart contracts have allowed developers to create three major formats of decentralized exchanges. DEX with an on-chain order book, DEX with an off-chain order book, DEX with an automated market maker. Exchanges with on-chain order books are completely decentralized, considering that all events and actions are recorded on the blockchain, which ensures a completely transparent trading experience. However, such exchanges are impractical since users have to pay even more fees and can be front-run by other users who can view pending transactions on blockchain explorers. Exchanges with off-chain order books take decentralization down a notch by using a centralized system to host their order books. Rather than being stored on blockchain networks, orders on this type of exchange are processed by an offline entity that is not decentralized. Nevertheless, the trades themselves are still executed on-chain. The newest and most popular option is an exchange with an automated market maker. AMMs outright reject order books and implement a radically different form of processing and distributing liquidity by using game theory, mathematical formulas, and wrapping them up in smart contracts. Nearly every decentralized exchange nowadays uses automated market makers. The most famous implementation of Uniswap, a trading platform that utilizes the constant product formula of X times Y equals K, while X and Y represent a trading pair of two different tokens, K is an unchangeable constant that must be preserved at all times. Simply put, the formula dictates that all changes in the trading pair's reserve balances should not change the constant product of K. This is made possible by charging fees for every trade and transferring it back to liquidity reserves, which creates a counterbalance by adding a positive pressure to the K constant. 
Liquidity is the blood of every exchange. It's what keeps trading platforms alive and attracts new users. So if DEXs are decentralized, how do they acquire liquidity in the first place? Decentralized exchanges primarily rely on liquidity providers who engage in liquidity mining and yield farming. These users are financially incentivized to lend their crypto assets to a DEX in return for monetary rewards. The liquidity given to an exchange is then used to fuel a trader's token swap who has to pay a fee for the transaction. A portion of this fee is given back to liquidity providers in return for providing the original liquidity in the first place. This symbiotic relationship is what makes decentralized exchanges thrive in an ecosystem such as the crypto markets. Each of the three parties, exchange operators, liquidity providers, and traders, provides something and takes another thing in return. All this talk, we may have given you the impression that decentralized exchanges are perfect and that there's nothing wrong with them, but that couldn't be farther from the truth. There are three notable disadvantages that affect users of nearly all skill levels, and they include user experience, fees, and trading volume. Decentralized exchanges aren't known for offering a great user experience. They're clunky, difficult to use, and buggy. A crypto veteran might have an easier time trading on Uniswap or SushiSwap, but a beginner will most likely fall at the very first step. Newcomers tend to not understand how to perform a transaction. They can forget passwords, seed phrases, and lose access to their funds. Fees are another predominant issue that rarely goes away. Since trades are executed by smart contracts rather than the centralized systems employed by traditional exchanges, traders pay higher fees on average. Fees on decentralized exchanges are not that bad, but whenever a network is congested, users can pay up to hundreds of dollars for a single trade. Although decentralized exchanges have caught up with centralized ones in terms of liquidity, they're still dwarfed by industry giants like Coinbase and Binance. Liquidity is truly everything, and when a DEX does not have enough of it, it's better to stick with centralized trading platforms. Illiquid markets are chaotic to trade as they have high slippage rates and empty order books in between major price levels. All in all, decentralized exchanges are revolutionary platforms that have changed the crypto market forever. Some believe that DEXs can turn crypto platforms totally independent from the real world by giving users a way to interact with each other solely through a blockchain. We have yet to see whether the new wave of exchanges will achieve that goal as there are still many obstacles. Fees are unbelievably high, trading interfaces are still primitive, and decentralized exchanges are nowhere near reaching the level of liquidity that centralized platforms offer. Once the DeFi sector matures and developers focus more on building rather than marketing products during a euphoric market, we will surely see a positive shift in tone. Until then, only trading experts and crypto whales will have fun using decentralized exchanges. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and click the red subscribe button to join our online crypto community. You can find us on Instagram and Twitter at Shrimpy App and on our blog at blog.shrimpy.io. And don't forget to head to the link in our description box so that you can download our free Mastering DeFi ebook.